Hello, colleagues and friends. I am Anna Blackburn Rigsby, and I'm honored to serve as Chief Judge of the District of Columbia Court of Appeals and Chair of the Joint Committee on Judicial Administration for the District of Columbia Courts. I am proud to have served the DC Courts for 28 years. Like each of you here, I share a commitment to justice and a fair and impartial judiciary that serves all the people who live, work, and do business in the District of Columbia. Each day, thousands of individuals come before the DC Courts to have their matters heard and their conflicts resolved peacefully and fairly. The DC Courts are among the busiest courts of their kind in the nation. I am pleased to report that the state of the DC Courts and our local judiciary remains strong, notwithstanding the unprecedented challenges that we have faced over the past two years since our last Judicial Bar Conference. The Joint Committee, which includes Chief Judge Josie Herring and other judges, has worked to ensure the fiscal stability of the DC Courts. I am happy to report that the finances of the DC courts are strong and well managed. As a result, we have been able to expedite case resolution, enhance information security, expand access to justice, maintain the court's infrastructure, and stabilize and begin renovation of the historic Recorder of Deeds building for use as the Justice Resource Center. The DC courts developed many innovations to reimagine the DC courts and our ability to perform essential court functions, particularly over the past three years. I am fortunate to work with an incredible group of committed judges, managers, and staff, and we have a legal community that is committed to ensuring access to justice, especially in most difficult and challenging times. I want to thank the DC Court's executive team, Dr. Cheryl Bailey, Mr. Herb Roussan, Mr. Julio Castillo, and Ms. Sabrina Dempson. Additionally, I want to thank the interim Deputy Clerk of the Court of Appeals, Marie Robertson, and the Court of Appeals Division Directors and staff who worked tirelessly to ensure that cases were processed efficiently and cases continue to be heard in the Court of Appeals in a fair and timely manner. Many thanks to the members of the DC Courts Pandemic Working Group, which was established by Dr. Cheryl Bailey and led by her Roussan. The Pandemic Working Group met remotely every week for over three years to strategize to keep everyone who works in and enters the court buildings safe. Every division of the DC Courts has done an incredible job. For example, the Information Technology Division expanded remote access and deployed the new DC Courts mobile app, which has gotten great reviews from lawyers and litigants. The Capital Projects and Facilities Management Division and Security Office continue to ensure that court buildings are clean and safe and secure, especially as we reimagine the court operations in a post-COVID environment. Our Administrative Services Division did a great job procuring necessary safety items. The Budget and Finance Division ensured our financial integrity and stability. Our Strategic Management Division continued work on establishing a Justice Resource Center on the court's campus that will serve as a one-stop shop to provide needed services for members of the community with cases in the DC courts. With the support of the Strategic Management Division, the courts have received grants from the State Justice Institute to conduct operational assessments of the Court of Appeals and to perform an assessment of the high volume landlord and tenant and mortgage foreclosure and debt collection courts. We established an access to justice unit with a director a new pro bono manager, Jody Feldman, and court navigation staff. The DC courts continue to remain open to all, trusted by all, and provide justice for all. I also want to share some DC Court of Appeals updates. 
I thank my dedicated and hardworking colleagues on the DC Court of Appeals. Active judges, Judge Beckwith, Judge Easterly, Judge McLeese, Judge Deal, Judge Howard, Judge Ali Khan, and Judge Shanker. And our senior judges, former Chief Judge Washington, Judge Stedman, Judge Ruiz, Judge Fisher, Judge Thompson, and Judge Glickman. They have continued to give each and every case full consideration. The DC Court of Appeals has had some arrivals and departures. Judge Howard and Judge Ali Khan joined us in February of 2022. Judge Shanker joined us in December of 2022. Judges Thompson and Glickman took senior status last year, and Judge Farron retired earlier this month. Sadly, Judges John Terry, former Chief Judge Bill Pryor, and former Chief Judge Ted Newman passed away. Jason LeVay became the director of the public office after serving in the DC Court of Appeals Legal Division. The Court of Appeals still has one judicial vacancy, which has existed for 10 years. It continues to impact our ability to resolve our cases in a timely manner. When the pandemic hit in 2020, the Court of Appeals pivoted to conducting oral arguments via Zoom, and we maintained public access by utilizing YouTube. I never would have thought or imagined that we would be appearing live on YouTube. We have continued to live stream and archive arguments on YouTube to provide greater access to and transparency of Court of Appeals oral arguments for the public. Although we resumed in-person oral arguments, we have expanded so that we can also conduct hybrid and fully remote arguments to provide more options to parties with matters in our court in this post-COVID era. We want to leverage the innovation we instituted during COVID-19 to ensure continued court operations. We have strived to reimagine the DC Court of Appeals. We sought input from you, our external and internal stakeholders. We thank those of you who participated and responded with your comments. In the interest of access to justice, we expanded the ability of parties to e-file their pleadings. The DC courts also set up remote sites in every quadrant of the District of Columbia to help address the disparities in access to reliable internet. We launched an appellate mediation program just a few years ago. Thanks to many of our committed bar members, we can provide pro bono appellate mediation assistance to unrepresented parties. Mediation sessions are now held in person or remotely, depending on the needs of the case. The Court of Appeals succeeded in closing more than 1,100 cases in 2021 and 2022. The median time on appeal decreased in 2021 and further decreased in 2022. During the pandemic, the Committee on Admissions successfully administered three remote bar exams, October 2020, February 2021, and July 2021. In 2022, over 5,000 applicants were admitted to the DC bar, the most in the last 20 years. In 2019, I instituted the Court of Appeals Business Process Working Group. This group has been instrumental in many of the DC Court of Appeals innovations to improve operations over the past few years, including the development of the DC Court of Appeals new case management system, a significant multi-year undertaking that we are all very excited about. I can't close without mentioning another significant undertaking. The Joint Committee on Judicial Administration launched the DC Court's Racial Equity Initiative to establish a comprehensive strategy and next steps to assess our processes, policies, and procedures through a racial equity lens. The DC Courts are committed to intensifying efforts to address disparities in our justice system 
to ensure that equal access to justice is a reality for all and to foster greater public trust and confidence in the DC courts. Let me close by saying that we have achieved much despite the challenges we endured both during COVID-19 and now as we emerge from it. We are resilient and innovative and we are stronger for what we have gone through. Thank you.